What's the best gift you've ever received? Maybe you walked outside on your birthday to find a brand new bike with no training wheels. Or like me, your parents got you guitar lessons so you could learn to play your favorite songs. Maybe you got to take a trip someplace awesome. Wow. Your favorite gift might even have been a video game console or the chance to spend the day with your favorite person. These are all fantastic presents, but eventually things break and the fun experiences are over. You have to go back to everyday life and wait forever until Christmas or your birthday comes around again. But there's one gift you never have to wait for. One gift you can open every single day. In Ephesians, Paul writes, God's grace has saved you because of your faith in Christ. Your salvation doesn't come from anything you do. It is God's gift. Faith in God is an incredible gift from God. When you have faith, you know that God is always with you, even in tough situations. When you have faith, you learn to trust God for wisdom as you walk through your day. And when you have faith, you know that God has promised to make everything right in the end for those who follow Jesus. When you choose to open God's amazing gift of faith, you begin to live with more hope and show more love. Then others can see God at work in you. That's why making a move in faith is an amazing way to worship God with your life. Because worship is about more than just singing loud, it's all about living loud.
<laughs> hey, it's good to be back, John. Oh, you're telling me, Brandon. Woo. <sighs> you know, I love Hawaii, uh -huh. but nothing says home like your basement. Oh, you know, I was just thinking the same thing. I mean, Antarctica is cool. Actually, it's really cold, but it's pretty good being back here in the old studio. I got you a souvenir. What? I love pineapples! I knew you would! You... Ow. Hey, I got you something too. Oh, you didn't have to do hey, that. It's what friends do. Okay. You ready? Oh, oh, sure. Whoosh! <laughs> it's a Yeti! Thank you. John. I'm Brandon, and, and welcome, welcome to, to the So and So Show. Okay, John, let me ask your opinion about something. I don't like that shirt. I want to, no, not about my shirt. Oh. I, you don't like my shirt? What I was going to say was, we've gone on a lot of trips so far this summer. Oh, yes, we have. Where do you think we should go next? Uh, oh, horseback riding through the Canadian Rockies with a French guy who only speaks German while playing the banjo. Uh, no. Oh. That was last Thursday. Somewhere we haven't gone. Oh, a Jurassic Park! Not a real place. Narnia! John! Okay, there's so many places to choose from. No. Hmm. Oh, I know. Let's check out our trip jar to see what we can afford. That'll oh, help us narrow down the options. Good right? idea. All right, see? Trip jar. Whoa, this right. feels heavy. Really? Yeah. That's real metal. Let's see here. <laughs> Boom. Yeah. So to fund our next trip, we've got 47 cents and some tokens from Porky's Pizza Palace and Arcade and two coupons for 50% off a car wash. So ah. not enough for a trip. We can go on a car wash? Or we could stay here and welcome someone who knows stuff. Ooh. Too long. Chair for you. Here, let me clean this up for you. Yeah. How you doing, mate? Oh, great. So good to see you again. Hey, Ryan, good to have you back. Uh, for those who haven't met you, tell us who you are and what you know. Uh, well, my name's Ryan, and I'm an animal expert. I travel all around the world studying, learning about animals. Oh, and something you may not know about me, I'm Australian. Really? No idea. Too right. I brought me Boomer and everything. Oh, you did? Oh, oh. whoa! That's, that's great, isn't it? Supposed to uh, come back or? Most of the time. Hmm. Well, what are we doing sitting here on our bums? A little birdie told me that you two like to travel. So are you ready to go on an adventure? Uh, uh, sorry, Ryan. We can't really afford to go on any trips right now. <laughs> no, no, no. You don't have to. This adventure's an all-expense-paid trip by me. It's my gift to you. Oh, oh. wow, that's Let's really great. Go. Oh, okay. I mean, come on, mate. Okay. Think they got car washes where we're going? Uh, maybe. Did we really need to fly around the world to get to my backyard? Hide! Ooh. Don't make a sound. There's wild animals all over the place. Oh, like right over there. That's a remarkable specimen of the long-tailed mouse catcher. Isn't that your neighbor's cat? Yeah, that's Miss Fancy Feet. <laughs> Dead on you, she's magnificent. She's majestic! She's ferocious! <laughs> I never really thought about it, but she really is quite beautiful. Oh! Look over there! I didn't think I'd be able to show you one of these today! <laughs> That's the gray acorn scavenger! Just a beaut! Oh, it's a cute little squirrel! <laughs> oh, what a little corker! Now, did you know that trees need squirrels to make more trees? 
What? Yes, it's true. They count on the squirrels to hide the acorns and then forget where they hid them. And then they have trees growing further away instead of right underneath itself. Wow, that's so cool. <laughs> yep, oh, it gets a lot cooler. <gasps> a cricket. A katie did. A brown thrasher. A ladybug. An elephant. <laughs> Many adventures to find right in your own backyard. So what'd you think, mate? I, that, that was amazing, Ryan. Thank you so much. How can we ever repay you? Oh, it was my pleasure. Yeah, this may be my favorite trip so far. Wow. Yeah, me too. It was fun, but but. Narnia would have been better. Oh. 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 What do you know? It came back. Told you. You can keep that as a gift oh, too. Thank you. <laughs> right there. There you go, mm -hmm. mate. It's Bible story time with Kellen. Oh, banana. Hey, fellas. Hey, Kellen. Hey, Kel. Now, I have to give it up to Ryan. She set up today's story perfectly. Oh, is today's story about hitting people in the head with boomerangs? No, but it is about gifts, and the gifts you can't repay. Alrighty then, take it away. Okay, quick setup. Today's story is actually just two verses, and it comes from the book of Ephesians, which is a letter written by Paul to new Jesus followers in the city of Ephesus. Now, back then, a lot of people believe that you had to follow a ton of rules to make yourself right with God. And if you didn't follow those rules, you had to pay for all the rules you broke. Then of course, Jesus came along and changed everything. This is what Paul wrote. God's grace has saved you because of your faith in Christ. Your salvation doesn't come from anything you do. It is God's gift. It is not based on anything you have done. No one can brag about earning it. Okay, that's a lot, but it's really, really amazing. Let's talk about the word salvation, okay? What exactly is that? Now that is a good question. What is happening? Sit back and relax, Kellen, because boy oh boy do I have a deal for you. Looney Larry here with an offer of a lifetime. Looney Larry has absolutely no authority to make this offer. Have you done bad things in your life? Cheated on a test? Lied to your parents? Or even picked on your little sister? No worries, with salvation, all of your problems are taken care of. And now, for the low, low price of $777,000.99, salvation can be yours. Would I lie? No, 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 no. That is whatever that is. That is not what salvation is or how salvation works. Now, it's true. We've all done wrong things or sinned, and there is a price. But salvation comes because Jesus died on the cross to pay that price for us, so we no longer have to. You drive a pretty hard bargain there, Kellen. Well, I'm not- For today only, you can get salvation for the special loony price of just two low, low payments of $388,500 49 and a half cents. Would I lie? No. It costs no money. No money. It is free. It <laughs> Let it be known that Looney Larry is not afraid to haggle. If you act now, you can get salvation for the price of one large donation to a charity. Or saying your prayers or just helping an old lady across the street. Larry, no. Salvation isn't something you get by earning it. Remember what Paul wrote. Salvation is God's gift. It is not based on anything you have done, and no one can brag about earning it. 
but you can have it. Would I lie? Okay, okay, I think that's enough of Looney Larry. Get out of here. But he was not lying about one thing. Salvation is something you can have. God's grace has saved you because of your faith in Jesus. That's it. It's free. And that's true no matter who you are or what rules you've broken. What do you think, fellas? You know, it is easy to try and, and prove yourself to God. You know, like you're checking things off of a list, you know, going to church, check. Yeah, I prayed, was patient, and said I was sorry today. Check, check, and double check. Mm -hmm. And those things aren't bad things. You should do those things. But none of them can earn you salvation. Jesus took care of all of that for you. It's faith in Jesus that saves you. Well said. Whew. And with that, my work here is done. I'll see you next time. Well, Brandon, we had one very unexpected show today. I know, we got a really special gift from Ryan that we didn't earn, yeah. and we learned that God's gift of salvation is absolutely free too. Yeah, totally unexpected. Mm -hmm. Ah, no one even threw it! Reveal the question. <laughs> How do you feel when you get a gift? Oh, I, I love gifts. The excitement, the anticipation. Yeah, it makes me feel special when someone gives me a gift. Like, I, I really matter to them. Yeah. yeah, what about you? How do you feel when you get a gift? Was that elephant in your backyard a gift? No, I have never seen that elephant in my life before. Oh, weird. It's inside. Run! No! Where? I don't know! Just run in general! Serpentine! Uh, okay. Okay, are you sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're really sure? I think I've got it this time. Okay. Boomerang's coming back. Maybe we should stop. Yeah. Ow! I'm not scared. Run! <laughs>